Ready? Yeah, go. G'day, I'm Piers here for the half of Responsive Engineering, and today I'm going to show you how to fit a water watch system using the bracketed kit to a VDJ 200. Alright, so let's get things started. First of all, it's always good to have the bracket on hand. Secondly, locate the factory fuel filter. In this case, this is where it will be fitted. Quite simply, go through and dismantle the factory fuel filter. Quite simply, undo the sensors. Then remove the hoses, and then once the hoses are removed, you want to remove the unit from the bracket. Now retain the factory bolts as they will be used to secure the new bracket. Alright, so just quite simply lift that up and it will come straight up. Then you want to grab the bracket. Now the bracket will quite simply fit in the same profile as the factory bracket and it will quite simply slide over like so. Then we'll reinstall the factory fuel filter over the studs as it originally come out. And then quite simply just re-tighten. Plug back in the previously unplugged sensors. Now, that's that sorted. Now, we'll fit the water watch unit itself now to the bracket. Using the fitting kit that's supplied with the bracket. Using two 13mm spanners will secure the water watch to the bracket. Now it's a good tip just to keep the water watch unit flush with the top of the bracket, more or less so it's presented well. Okay, now that that's done, we need to remove the factory inlet to the fuel filter from the vehicle, which is done so by removing the hose down near the chassis rail.
probably going to be worth cutting the gear so I can get the hose off. Mm. Maybe you stop filming. I'll pull it off and then we'll go.